Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening wherever you are in the world, and welcome to the Blue Gem. How does it work? So the Blue Gem is the first in the list of Sonic's special abilities, and you can find the Blue Gem in this very level in Aquatic Base. What you do is at the second checkpoint of Section 2, so sections being where you load in to the next part of the level, you are going to homing attack on the magnetic balls, and then destroy the flying enemy to get access to the door. You have to do this to complete the level, so it works out pretty well. And then you are going to take the, I guess, zip line up to the next level, go through the door, and then once you're through the door, you're immediately going to want to turn around and go above the door you just came out of, and the blue gem is just sitting right up there, and you can grab it, and then Sonic has possession of the blue gem. So how does the blue gem work? For the sake of demonstration, I'm going to be using a mod that allows me to, you know, level up the gems, like, kind of by myself. You can't do this in normal Project 06. The blue gem is a gem that focuses solely on sonic speed. So if you press RT, or R2, I think, on PS3, or right shift if you're using the keyboard controls for some reason, sonic will gain a burst of speed. This burst is faster than the spin dash and it uses up some of your action gauge to do so. So if you want a short burst of speed, it's great. It's also chainable, so you know, you can use it. And then as long as you have meter, there is a short delay, so it's not like Sonic's boost or anything, but you can just boost around as if you were using the spin dash as long as you have the meter for it. Now, increasing the level of the blue gem, every gem is able to go up from level one to level two to level three. I'm gonna just kill some enemies here and get some chaos drives, level up the blue gem to level two. What leveling up the blue gem does is it increases the efficiency of using the ability, so it uses less of the action gauge, and the speed that you get from the blue gem doesn't necessarily make you go faster, but the boost lasts longer. So, like, you don't go any faster, say, you know, for example, uh, with level 1 blue gem, the burst of speed lets you go 60 miles an hour for one second. With level 2, you go 60 miles an hour for, you know, two seconds. Again, I'm just making up the numbers, but for the sake of example, basically, the boost is longer. When you level it up to level 3, this is where it gets interesting, because not only does the boost get longer, um as well as it uses less of the meter. You can see I'm using like probably like a third of what I was using at level one. When the boost is active, you can see there's a little blue like aura in front of Sonic. If you've played any of the modern 2D Sonic or 3D Sonic games, you know that you can barrel through enemies. So as long as that graphic is active in front of Sonic, you are able to just blast through enemies and barrel through as if you were using the boost. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much all there is to know about the blue gem. If you have any questions, of course, you can leave something in the comment section. But other than that, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you in the next one. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are in the world and welcome to the red gem. How does it work? So in order to obtain Sonic's Red Gem, you get it in Flame Core right at the beginning of the stage. So what you do is right when the stage begins, you take all the automation and right after you finish taking the automated section at the very beginning, you turn around and you can see to the right of the dash panel, there's a little platform in the lava. You take that platform and do just a little bit of jumping and platforming and you can find the red gem sitting right at the very, uh, I guess at the very back of the last platform. Once you obtain the red gem, uh, with how Chaos implemented the red gem into this game, when you use your special action, so again that's using RT or R2, it slows down time. You can think of it like the time break from Sonic and the Secret Rings. However, I do want to stress that unlike Retail 06, being the version that was released on the Xbox 360 and PS3 in 2006, versus Sonic P06, this slows down everything. So it doesn't, you know, unlike Retail 06, everything was slowed down except for Sonic. In Project 06, everything is slowed down. So just wanted to make a quick note of that. When you level up the red gems, so let me just get a few light cores here. 
when you level up the red gem, level two and level three do the exact same thing. Um, it just increases the duration that you can freeze time for. It doesn't make time any slower or anything, at least not from what I can tell. If we level this thing up to level three here, let me see, I believe it's, yep. So it's, uh, I was just using some of the debug code from a mod I have installed uh, in order to get the gems to level three. So level three, again, is just, you know, making time slow down. Again, I don't believe that the time is any slower. If it is, it's a very small margin, um, but it makes the music sound really cool. So a lot more epic and that kind of thing. If you want to check out, I'll put a link in the description to a YouTuber, Fishy101. Uh, he created, there was a glitch in one of the previous demos of Project 06, where if you use the red gem and quit the stage, it retains the music slowdown and it makes the menu sound, or it makes the main theme sound really epic. So I'll definitely be sure to link that in the description down there if you'd like to hear it. But other than that, that's the Red Gem. So I hope you enjoyed. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next one. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are in the world, and welcome to the Green Gem. How does it work? So in order to find the Green Gem in Project 06, it is located at the very beginning of Wave Ocean. So what you do is you go through the automation at the beginning of the level and do the water sliding section, and when you land on the dash panel and pass the first checkpoint, behind the boxes, so you'll see three enemies, behind the boxes to the right is the green gem. It's just kind of sitting there. So really easy gem to grab in the first stage of the game. Very nice. What does the green gem do? So what the green gem does is when you press the special action button, it causes Sonic to do a tornado kick attack. Looks really cool, really pleasing to the eyes, especially I like the extra flair that Chaos X gave it in Project 06. So what this does is it, you know, attacks enemies. It does constant damage, so as long as it's out, it's going to attack the enemies. Boom, and just like that. When you level up the green gem, what you do, and again, I'm using a mod in order to uh, level up the gem, so you can't do this in the vanilla game. You have to destroy enemies and fill your maturity meter. All it does is, like most other gems, it increases the range and the efficiency. So the animation gets a little bit bigger, and you can hit enemies from just a little bit farther away. Again, I do not believe it does any extra damage because it does constant damage as long as, you know, the effect is out. So. And one thing I forgot to mention, you can use the green gem on the ground or you can use it in the air, it doesn't matter. And of course, when we get up to level three, that's you know when the range and the efficiency of the action gauge is at its largest. So we can hit enemies from pretty far away. And unlike Retail 06, which is what, uh, which is what I referred to when the game, uh, when I'm talking about Sonic 06 as it was, was released in 2006, um, the animation didn't change, but Chaos made it to where the higher in level the green gem is, the animation is larger. So, really good for taking out groups of enemies. Unfortunately, it brings Sonic to a complete stop, but, you know, that's just kind of how it is. That's how it worked in the original game, so I'm not surprised that's how it works here in Project 06. And that's how the green gem works. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next one. Hello, Future Stomo here with a quick amendment to the green gem portion of this video is avid uh, supporter, friend, watcher of the stream in my YouTube and fellow PO6 speedrunner Reverie or Rose HGC as they go by on YouTube um, commented on this video explaining that you can in fact no matter what time it is during the animation of the green gem on the ground or in the air, you can actually press the A button and cancel it at any time you want. So if you want a little bit quicker combat when it comes to things, I can just run up to an enemy, especially if they have one health bar and just give them a quick bop. Doesn't matter if you're at level one, level two, or level three of the green gem, it works just the same. Even though, even if you do a quick spin like that, you do get uh, larger distance, just like you do normally when you level it up. One thing to note though, the moment that you stop using the green gem, let's see if I can actually use it here, you stop doing damage. So even though the green gem is still being utilized, I suppose you could say, 
uh, the moment that you cancel out of the animation, uh, even though the rest of like the effects still play, the damage stops happening. So you have to be actively using the green gem on those multi-hit enemies in order for them to uh, take damage. All right, that was all that was there. Thanks so much, Rev, for the help, and we'll continue on with the video. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are in the world, and welcome to the purple gem. How does it work? The purple gem is probably one of the most important gems in Project 06, as you'll see by the ability we get when we use it. Um, but firstly, in order to find the purple gem, you find it in Radical Train. So after the second checkpoint in section one, instead of taking the spring to go to the automation to progress with the level, you want to see the fire crate at the right. If you spin dash, break the crate or whatever, it's going to reveal an extra spring and take you to a different area of section one. And at the very end of this area is the purple gem. So what does the purple gem do? Well, the purple gem, other than giving Sonic this really cool, like, purplish effect, allows you, depending on its level, to give you an extra jump in the air. So if we're holding the purple gem, you see I just jumped, and we essentially did a double jump. It's really, really cool, really, really neat. The gem is basically fixed from how it was in Retail 06, which is what I refer to when I'm talking about the game Sonic 06 that was released originally in 2006. Um, yeah, so it gives you a double jump. Now, what gets really fun with the purple gem, and I'm going to be using a mod to level up the gems. Normally, you level up the gems by defeating enemies and filling your maturity meter. Um, but uh, just for the sake of this, I'm just going to be doing uh, using debug to increase it. So, for level two, you get two extra jumps. Well, that's pretty neat. As you can see, this has a lot of speed running applications and such. And I believe with the raise, I don't think the efficiency get, gets better, but it might. I'm not 100% sure on that. Someone can correct me in the comments if they know more than I do. But what gets really, really fun is that level three, Sonic turns invisible. <laughs> this is kind of an homage to in the original 06 where Sonic got shrunk and actually in previous versions, of Project 06, Sonic shrinks, but I think the invisibility makes more sense because it was meant to uh, not let you be detected by enemies, I believe, if we can find some enemies here. If we stand right next to him, I don't believe he can see us. This might not be fully implemented yet, but I believe the idea is that enemies can't detect, detect us, a la Espio in Sonic Heroes. Yeah, see, look at that. So if they don't notice us beforehand, they don't see us, which is really, really cool. So, other than that, what it does, of course, is give you a third jump in the air. Now, like I said, I'm sure you can see the, uh, the speedrunning practicality to having three extra jumps. But one thing I do want to mention for the purple gem specifically, is you only need to hold the, the RT or the special action button, or R2 or right shift if you're on keyboard, which is... <laughs> I don't know why you'd be using keyboard but you only need to be holding it on the frame that you jump. As you can see on my input map, you see that I hold it, I jump, and then I immediately let go. This kind of bypasses the need for, you know, to constantly hold it down and drain your meter. But another interesting consequence is that it really helps preserve your speed. At least for a little bit longer than it does normally uh, if you're just holding the purple gem down. Chaos kind of gave it its own jump arcs now one thing i do want to mention as well this may be a bug with just how the purple gem works but if you use the purple gem before the apex of your or at the apex of your jump you go up just a little bit when you do a jump however if you have some momentum going up you actually increase higher than you do if you do it at the apex of your jump which is really really cool um you can actually do it for all three so you can as long as you do it before the apex of your jump, you can get way higher than uh, if you do it without it. Now, if you do the high jump, which is a consequence of the double input glitch, you can kind of get some ridiculous heights. As you can see, Sonic Sonic just flies. It's, uh, it's actually kind of ridiculous doing this here. But uh, yeah, that's the purple gem, and that's how it works. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next one. 
Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are in the world, and welcome to the Sky Blue Gem. How does it work? So, in order to find the Sky Blue Gem, what you do in White Acropolis Section 2, right after you switch back from Tails at the first checkpoint, what you want to do is hug the right wall of the giant kind of open area section. As long as you hug the right wall and just do some of the platforming to get all the way to, uh, you know, to just to get through the section there, you'll basically just run right into the Sky Blue Gem. There'll just be some enemies you have to defeat and uh, whatever. But other than that, you're pretty much good to go and you'll have the Sky Blue Gem. So what does the Sky Blue Gem do? Well, when you're on the ground, what it does in Project 06 is it gives Sonic this little reticle indicator and you can throw the Sky Blue Gem and it grapples you uh, somewhat effectively to the location where the Sky Gem lands. So it's actually pretty cool, super useful. In the original version of Sonic 06, the one that was released on the Xbox and PS3 in 2006, uh, it was extremely broken, but Chaos X did everything he could in Project 06 to make it a little bit less broken. Using the Sky Gem in the air gives Sonic just like this own like little arc thing. So like its own like set arc, you can't manipulate it at all. So uh, it's not really that useful when you're in open air, but however, when you're against something, it launches you straight up into the air. So you could almost consider this like a, an extra jump, if even. And what's even more interesting is if you saw my how does it work on the purple gem, you know you get extra jumps from the purple gem. You can actually switch from the purple to the sky blue gem. And uh, yeah, you can gain an insane amount of height. In the speed run for Project 06, we use the purple and sky blue gem to just gain some enormous height when they're both leveled up. But we're talking about the sky blue gem in this one. Now, the text that Chaos X put in for when you find the Sky Blue Gem, when you level it up, it increases resistance. I'm not entirely sure what that means, so if someone in the comments would be able to correct me, please let me know. But what it does when you level it up, and I'm using a mod with a debug feature in Project 06 in order to level up these gems. Normally, you have to defeat enemies and fill up Sonic's maturity meter, and uh, that'll level up the gem itself. But uh, it basically just kind of increases the efficiency of using the Sky Blue Gem, gains some extra effects. Uh, actually, that might be what resistance is. Resistance might allow you to destroy enemies now that you have this little cool like effect underneath it. Let's actually check here. So if I threw the Sky Blue Gem, let me kind of try to throw it past this enemy here. Yes, okay, so that's what it means by resistance, is it actually destroys enemies, which is really cool. But the actual function of the Sky Blue Gem doesn't change, gives you the same amount of height. It actually does look like it uses the same amount of, uh, the same amount of uh, action gauge usage, so uh, my bad on that. There's a little bit of correction there. Level 3, I assume, just does more damage. So you get a little bit of a cooler, like kind of effect there and if these enemies weren't one hit it'd probably be easier to tell but yeah it looks like you can destroy it with sky blue gem so that's really cool so can you aim right at an enemy i actually i've never used this feature of the sky blue gem so you guys are kind of getting the uh first hand experience with this kind of feature of it but it's really cool so if you throw it right at the enemy it looks like it launches sonic at the enemy oh there we go and kind of destroys it so that's really cool so that's the sky blue gem um, yeah, so, uh, I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next one. Missile of the face, missile of the face. <laughs> see you guys. Hello, future Stomo kind of coming at you with a couple of amendments, I suppose, to my Sky Gem portion of the gem video. So, on the original video on the Sky Gem, Rio, who I believe speedruns uh, Project 06 as well, left this nice comment on here explaining that with the Sky Gem, the longer you hold down the RT button, the more charged up it gets and the farther you can throw it. As you level the gem up to level 2 and level 3, which I can do real quick with the PO6 extended mod here, at level 2, we can just charge it up and throw it a little bit farther. It's a little bit hard to demonstrate in this particular spot, but just trust me on it. The distance you can throw it does increase. And further at level three, it goes a little bit more. 
Another thing at level two, as you saw in the original video, you could uh, see that Sonic gains this little glowy after effect at level two with his gem. Um, depending on how long the grapple is, this damaging effect that Chaos added to the Sky Blue gem doesn't last forever. But when you level the gem up to level three, not only do you get the max distance, but that damaging attack lasts for the entire duration of the Sky Blue gem here. So let's see if I can actually attack something with it. Maybe this big guy right here. Uh, well, we tried. <laughs> Pow, there we go. Doing one little piece of damage to him. Additionally, while you're charging up the Sky Blue Gem, you are completely invulnerable to enemy attack, which is really nice. Thank you, Chaos, for doing something like that. But that is everything that I missed slash didn't know about with the Sky Gem, and I will see you all for the next gem. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are in the world, and welcome to the White Gem, How Does It Work? So, the white gem can be found in Project 06 in Sonic's Kingdom Valley. What you do is after the first checkpoint, you do a homing attack onto the rope that launches you in the air, and you use the bounce attack to bounce yourself higher and higher on the rope. Once you get enough height to the right of you will be a spring. You take that spring and you can find the white gem right there. So, what the white gem does is it gives Sonic the homing smash ability, so when you hold the special action button, uh, that's RT for Xbox 360 controllers, R2 for PS3 controllers, or right shift for keyboard users, God bless you, um, you get the homing smash ability. So as long as I'm holding RT, Sonic uh, will just remain in stasis kind of in the air here forever. Once I let go, it does a jump dash. Now the type of jump dash it does depends on, you know, what you have it in in the extra modes, what type you have in the extra modes. So there are three types straight curved and legacy i personally use the legacy homing attack especially for speed running so i get an extra legacy homing attack now what it does uh, against enemies is you actually do extra damage and you're invulnerable during the stasis period so that's actually really nice especially for large groups of enemies when you level it up to level two it, uh, and I'm going to be using a mod here to level it up to level two. Normally you have to defeat enemies to level it up, but for the sake of demonstration, I'm just using the mod. Level two, it just does more damage. These enemies are single hit, so, you know, more damage, and I believe it also decreases uh, how much action gauge it uses. So, boom, you got that. And then level three is just kind of more of the same to where you, you know, just do more damage and it looks like it might use less meter, I'm not entirely sure. Now, one interesting consequence of how Chaos programmed uh, the white gem, at least for demo 4.6, I do not know if this is going to be the case in future versions, is he gave Sonic and Shadow something called the homing attack refresh. So in Sonic's case, what you can do is if you do a homing attack and then his bounce attack, you can actually do another homing attack. It's a little hard to demonstrate with Legacy. Uh, it's a little bit easier with Shadow because Shadow's uh, bounce attack or Shadow's uh, air attack doesn't send him straight into the ground. But if you can see real quick from the input viewer and what Sonic is saying, you can do an extra jump dash or an extra homing attack after you bounce. With the white gem, you can do the exact same thing, except you can do it as long as you have action gauge meter. So I'm going to kind of attempt to land here down on that lower section of Kingdom Valley. You can just do as many jump dashes as you have meter for. Now, this can get kind of ridiculous if you have infinite meter using a debug code or some kind of glitch or something like that. But you can do that regardless of what level the white gem is. It doesn't have to be a specific level uh, to get the extra jump dash. And another nice thing if you're using Legacy, because Legacy inherits the momentum, because with the White Gem Sonic comes to a complete stop, it basically gives you an option to get greater horizontal distance without setting, sending Sonic straight down uh, into the abyss, perhaps maybe this giant one to our right here. But uh, yeah, again, I don't know if that property is going to remain in future versions, but I really hope it does because it really gives the, it makes the White Gem a lot better, giving it a combat utility as well as um yeah traversal utility as well but that's uh the white gem and how it works 
Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Hello there! This is Future Stelmo coming back with my final amendment to my original tutorial videos. Is lead developer of Project 06, Mr. Chaos X himself, went ahead and commented on my original White Gem video, explaining that when you have the White Gem at level 2 or level 3, when you do the attack, remember you're invincible during the startup, the corpse of the enemy gets flung back, whichever one you hit, and adds like a nuke attachment. That's how Chaos explained it. And the corpse flies back and damages any enemies that are in the way. So if we go ahead and go down here, just so I can show it off one more time. Boom! You can kind of see it was a little hard with the explosions there, but the enemy did get this cool little effect, kind of like the same effect that Sonic has when he's charging up the white gem. And, uh, do a, did a little, like, blast, I suppose, destroying, uh, the enemies that were behind them as well. Alright, Chaos, thank you for the comment. I love you, buddy. Keep doing the good work that you are doing on Project 06, and I will see you all for the yellow gem. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are in the world, and welcome to the yellow gem. How does it work? So in order to find the yellow gem at uh, in Crisis City Section 2, right after the first checkpoint, um, you basically just progress through the stage kind of as normal, doing the light dash, grinding on the rails, heading all the way over to the part where the springs launch you into the big building section where you collect a bunch of rings. But instead of taking the springs, you jump down behind the wall that they're attached to, and there's a little ledge, and on that ledge is the yellow gem. So, what the yellow gem does is it grants Sonic instant access to the lightning shield. Now, unlike Sonic the Hedgehog 3 and Knuckles or Sonic Mania, the lightning shield does not grant you access to a double jump. I personally like this because it would be redundant with the purple gem, since the purple gem grants you a double jump anyway. So all this gem does is it grants you protection uh, and at the cost of the action gauge meter, as well as you draw in rings, just like how the lightning shield. So basically how it works in Sonic Adventure 1 and Sonic Adventure 2. And I believe the lightning shield was in Sonic Heroes. I know it's in, I think it's even in Shadow the Hedgehog too. Um, but yeah, it also protects you from enemy attacks. So if we just try to run into this dude here, it uh, exchanges extra meter because you, you know, are just purposely running yourself into enemies, but you don't even like take damage or take knockback. So you can literally just like run right through enemies, which is really, really cool. Now I am going to be using a, uh, a debug mod to uh, level up the gem here just for demonstration purposes normally you have to defeat enemies in order to level up the gem But at level two all it does is it increases the efficiency So as you can see as the gem is active the drain is a lot slower and I'm not entirely sure But I believe it also increases the resistance against enemies so you can take more hits By just like running into these guys than you could at level one at level three This just enhances the decrease so as you can see it's decreasing really slowly now and when we bash our head into enemies, we can take way, way, way more hits. This is an extremely useful gem for S-ranking the stages if you're not very good and get hit a lot, you know, for like rings and stuff or just kind of dying. Obviously, this protects you against that, so it's super useful for that, as well as drawing in rings, of course. So if you're trying to get like max ring bonus or something like that, it's, uh, it's pretty darn useful. It's one of my favorite gems. I love the graphic, and even in future, re re uh, future releases, Chaos X said he's going to be making the graphic look even better, so I'm super excited about that. I hope you guys are too. So that's how the yellow gem works. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next one as uh, Sonic floats above the, uh, <laughs> the terrain here. Kind of funny. To the yellow gem, how does it work? So, in order to find the yellow gem, this isn't terrible, Sonic. <laughs> good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are in the world, and welcome to the rainbow gem. How does it work? So, in order to find the rainbow gem, the first requirement is, is you have to S rank all of Sonic's stages. That's all 10 stages in the list order, including both Dusty Desert and Tropical Jungle, where you're carrying Elise, and Tails' Wave Ocean, where you play as Tails. Now, in order to S rank, 
um, you need to have at least 50,000 points. Other than for some reason in Tales of Wave Ocean, the score requirement is 52,000 points. If you need help on doing that, I highly recommend checking out my 100% speedrun I did. You know, you don't have to go necessarily as fast. Basically, destroy everything you see and collect every ring you see in the stages, and you'll pretty much get an S rank no matter what. So, how to find the rainbow gem once it appears. You'll see a final, like... Oh, the rainbow gem has appeared in Kingdom Valley. Is you head to Kingdom Valley, and in section three, after the second checkpoint, what you want to do is go down the crumbling staircase and take the spring. Once you take the spring, you want to jump on top of the two boxes, wooden boxes you see, and turn the camera around. And when you turn the camera around, you'll see another platform there. And then you jump on that platform. I believe the camera automatically turns, but if it doesn't, you'll want to turn it to the, the right so that you see another platform. And then break the stained glass, enter the tower, and the rainbow gem is in there. The rainbow gem was not originally in Project 06. However, there was like, you know, th this is essentially a full implementation of an idea uh, that was cut out of Project 06 for time, I assume. So, as you can imagine what the rainbow gem does when we activate it, turns us into supersonic. You do need at least 50 rings in order to transform into supersonic um, in the stages with the rainbow gem active. Now, normally I have a mod installed that I use for debug and stuff for these demonstrations, but normally with supersonic you cannot access any other of Sonic's gems. So, you're stuck with the rainbow gem, but that's okay because, you know, you're supersonic. So, Supersonic, obviously, he doesn't really move on the ground. He Like, the speed doesn't really change. I assume that's for balancing just in the game. But his speed and jump height don't change at level 1. But he is invincible, of course. And he destroys any enemy, regardless of health bar, in one hit. So, normally, that enemy takes two hits to destroy. Sonic destroys it in one hit, as uh, which is really nice. Now, unfortunately, in that demonstration, we got the Rainbow Gem all the way to level 3. Let me actually, you know, go through the stage and try to collect some more rings here so I can continue to show you what Sonic does with the Rainbow Gem. So, what you get when you go to level 2 with the Rainbow Gem, uh, which we kind of skipped, but with level 2, Sonic gains increased jump height. So, kind of like Sonic 2 and Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Um, when you turn into Super Sonic, you get extra jump height, pretty much double the jump height. Same is the case here. And with level three, as long as your action gauge is full, you can do the speed burst that Sonic does in the final boss fight, which is pretty stinking cool, if I do say so myself. So, you know, as long as we grab more rings here and kind of go through the stage, as long as the action gauge is completely full, and again, the action gauge only refills when you're on the ground with Sonic and with most characters, um, you can do the burst. It's a nice little burst of speed, kind of, you know, helps you out, makes, you know, things a little bit easier. You just barrel through enemies. Um, it's not too insanely useful, but it's pretty useful. Another little thing that I do want to mention about the Rainbow Gem that's really cool is Chaos X added the cool effect from Sonic Adventure 1's final boss with Perfect Chaos. Whereas if you're going fast enough, you can see the aura around Super Sonic turn blue. That's to reference the fact that to call, if you die in the Super Sonic boss fight, uh, to call tells you that if you go fast enough, you actually turn into a lightning bolt. So a nice little homage to that there. You can also see it in mock speed sections because you can, as long as you enter mock speed sections with Supersonic, you actually can use him in the mock speed sections and it's really, really fun. But anyway, that's the Rainbow Gem and how it works. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching and I will see you soon.